Welcome to today's Great Quarantini. You know, I've been doing magic for a long time. Back, uh, I started in the late 1970s before we had any children, but uh, Pat and I had nieces and nephews up in Buffalo, New York. I'd go up there once in a while, I'd do magic shows for them, it was a lot of fun. We had our own kids and it was tough. When they're really young, you can't do magic for them anyway. But as they got older, I would do parties, maybe a birthday party here and there. Over the decades, I've done some office Christmas parties and things. But there have been times, you know, months, years have gone by when I haven't done any at all. But in the last six weeks or a month, I've started to do a lot, obviously, and I've had a lot of fun with it. It's kept me occupied during these uh, sheltering at home days. Um, and I hope it's helped in some way to you know, let you pass the time. My goal is to make you smile. Either you like my magic or you laugh at me trying to do it, but one way or the other, I hope it uh, has been in some way amusing to you. Anyway, the other day I was uh, thinking, you know, I've got a trunk of magic stuff up in the attic. Might be fun to go up and get it, try it, see if I can do any of the tricks that I used to play with and show you how I got started. So I pulled a few out. I'm gonna do four little tricks here for you today. Back when I started, I used to do a lot of silk tricks. I have here a red silk and a blue silk, right? Red and blue. Uh, and what I'm going to do is to see if I can make these, as I flash them around, just change colors into yellow and green. And let's see, I had a trick back then I would do where I would use a dollar bill and I'd punch a hole in the dollar bill. Now, I think a dollar back then is probably about a $10 bill now, so I decided to up my act there a little and use a $10 bill a day. And the question is, can I push a pen through the, dollar, the, through the bill? Now, believe it or not, it's a lot harder than it seems because this is not real paper. These bills are special paper, and they're really tough and hard to push through. You've got to push and push and push really, really hard to get it through. It's just not as easy as you would think it would be. Oh, okay. Wow. I think I got it through. Now then, you know, when I pull it out, you have to be very, very careful because you don't want the hole to show because it's hard to, to uh, spin if you've got a big hole in it. So you've got to be very careful and pull it out slowly very slowly so that you keep the hole together with the bill so that it doesn't look like you've got a hole at all in it. You just pull it very slowly out like that. See, it can work sometimes. Rope tricks. I used to do rope tricks back then. Rope is always fun. People know what rope is. You can tie knots in it. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. So it was always just kind of a fun thing to play with. So what I'm going to try to do is, is cut my rope here. Cut it in half. It's not easy to do because the uh, scissors are not perhaps as sharp as they used to be. And it's just tough, tough rope. Whew. Two pieces of rope. Now, I can tie the ends together. Sometimes you've seen a trick, I'm sure, where you take the, the magician takes the knot and pulls it off the rope and throws it away. Well, this is a different trick. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, rope and put it up here and try to untie my knot like this. And then take the uh, rope together and go whoop. And it's back to one piece again. Last trick now. I used to do a trick with a Coke bottle. Found this up in the attic, this old Coke bottle, and believe it or not, back then Coke was 49 cents. I don't know, maybe, you know, it, times have changed a little. My goal was, I remember doing this, where I would be able to make the Coke bottle disappear, right? I remember something like, like that, and that magic clap would just make it, oh. You know, it's been a long time since I've done this trick. Let's see if I can figure, you know, you know what? Maybe it'd be easier if I covered it up. I have a uh, plastic uh, a cardboard tube here. I took some pieces of cardboard and I just taped them together. You see that there? So uh, I put some clips on it to hold it together. I'm going to put that over the bottle, well, over part of the bottle. It looks like you can kind of see it there, I think, right? So now we're going to cover it up here and see if I can. I think it's two claps that did it, don't you think? 
Did I make it disappear? I think maybe, because I don't see it in there. Do you? Oh, you'd probably like to see where it went, wouldn't you? Looks to me like it disappeared. Thank you for my trip down memory lane. I hope you enjoyed that.